Hey you guys, what's up? It's your girl Tamaria Lakay coming to you with another video on my sister locks. I recently started documenting my journey where I go from a 4C loose natural to a locked natural. So if you're interested in natural hair content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you're not missing out on any of my future uploads. Now today is another simple style video. It's kind of based off of the one I did yesterday. I know there were some women that were saying that they wish they could do their hair in a bun but they don't have enough hair. So sometimes, you know, you just gotta fake it till you make it. So if you'd like to see how I got a huge mega bun in the back of my head, then go ahead and keep on. So before I get into this video, I have to go ahead and do my shout outs. I did leave a shout out for the first three people that commented on my video yesterday, but I forgot to do it like on camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for y'all today. So first was Miss um, Vangie. Idamawami probably screwed that all the way up but I will go ahead and leave like her little YouTube channel page information and then we had Miss Latia Williams and then Miss Binky Love Andrews on yesterday's video or was it the day before I can't really remember and then for my most recent recent upload we had let's see we had Lox and more she left a comment I think she was one of the first people to leave a comment on there and then we had Tasha Society she does hair makeup and lifestyle I've seen a lot of little cute girl hairstyles on there so if you're looking for some inspiration in that area be sure to check her out and then on the locks and more she has sister locks and then it looks like she does a whole lot of home repairs and things of that nature so if you want inspiration check these ladies out and then Amber loves you she also has sister locks and she is documenting her journey so those are my six shout outs for the last two videos that i uploaded thank you guys again so much now let's go ahead and get into this little simple tutorial that we're gonna do today girl it's gonna be real simple so what i want to do is i want to like just put my hair into a head wrap i haven't done that since i had sister locks so that's what i'm gonna do today i don't really know how I said I wanted a bang or something to go with it. First of all, my hair is, it's really kind of like dry, I guess you could say. It's not really so much stiff, it's just dry. I do want it to have some flexibility, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this. I'm almost done with my first bottle of the Jamaican Black Castor Oil water. I think I got, I got just a little bit left in this first one. So yeah, I'm just gonna moisten up my hair real quick. And I like to kind of get this on my roots. It feels good. And then plus it has all that good stuff in there for your hair, so why not? Okay, I think that is enough. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of tea tree oil just to seal it in, you know? Oh my gosh, I cannot get over the way this smells. I don't even think it smells like regular tea tree oil. I think this one has like a different, a different scent, cause this smells like candy. I ain't gonna lie, it smells like some candy. It makes me want like some Jolly Ranchers, some Chewy Jolly Ranchers, or Starburst or something. It smells really good. It is definitely time for me to wash my hair. I'm gonna wash it this weekend on Saturday because I have a retie on Sunday. So yeah, even though I wanna wash it like right now, I'm just gonna wait. What we gonna do, we just gonna pull this all the way back and we gonna tame our little edges and come up with a look with this little black scarf. This is basically a scarf. I cut it at the end so that it wasn't connected no more. So it's really big, really huge. We're gonna make it work. I'm gonna go ahead and pull everything back and we're gonna get it into not a high, like a semi-high ponytail. Right, so I'm gonna take one scrunchie, put it around the pony. And then of course it's gonna loosen up because I'm not putting it twice. And then I'm gonna take another one and just put it in like, almost like a bun. Just kind of tuck the hairs into a bun. And then that's pretty much what you have. All right, so what I'm gonna use to tame my edges because I do not feel like getting up to go look for 
my little orange gorilla it's like a gorilla glue kind of product i can't remember the name but i usually use that for my edges but i'm just gonna use some um some sports wave pomade because i don't really do like a lot of swooping with my edges i just really kind of like for them to lay down and be flat they don't really look that bad but we're just gonna try to make them look a tad bit better i'm just gonna lightly put this across my hairline take a toothbrush And then just brush them in the direction that I want them to kind of flow. And now for maximum benefit of that, I'm just gonna tie this kind of tight, you know, so that they can lay down, lay down. All right, so now that I have my edges pressed down and shaken together, we're just gonna go ahead and work on putting this on and putting it into a bun. So I pretty much made sure it was even on both sides. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of push it back a little bit and then also pull it over my ponytail. And then I'm gonna tie it in a knot So now that I got it nice and tight, what I'm gonna do is just take each end of the scarf and start to wrap that around my ponytail in the back to create a bun. And I'm not making it really tight, I'm doing it really loose so it's not like you have to pull and tug. Now behind my ear, what I'm gonna do is just take a hairpin and I am going to kind of pin it down just to make sure it doesn't slip off. And that is pretty much it. I have my really big bun. Um, if you don't have enough hair to create the mold on your own or you feel like your hair is not long enough or thick enough, then what you could do is actually add some hair. I'm pretty sure <laughs> if you're like me, you probably got some, some old hair laying around somewhere, so you could do that. Or you could use like some socks to go ahead and create a mold so that you can wrap it around just to give your bun a bit more of some definition. So I'm just gonna show you guys what the back looks like so you can kind of get a feel for the bun. And then that is pretty much it for a simple, I don't feel like dealing with my hair, I just wanna go ahead and pull it back, kind of moment, cause sometimes you just get tired of looking at them ends, especially me and mine's and they not curly, like I just get tired of looking at them bad boys and I just wanna put and tuck them away somewhere. So, here we go, tucked away. What well, is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Share it on any of your social media platforms. And you know I'm gonna leave some videos right over there for you to go ahead and check out next. Also, you can hit that subscribe button right here if you haven't done that yet and join the channel. And until the next one, I will see you guys later. Bye.